morning, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Kingsbury. I'm a full-time reseller and freelance photographer. Uh, this morning I've been looking at uh, my affiliate program uh, statistics. I signed up recently for eBay Partner Network's uh, affiliate program and I put some links out there and uh, want to show you what uh, we got going on right now. As you can see those links did create a little bit of action. Uh, 19 clicks. So I put some of those links out there on YouTube and Reddit uh, just to see if anyone would click on them and it looks like we got 19 clicks but they did not generate any sales. So first day um, we got some action but no sales. So I'm going to continue to play around with those affiliate links a little bit more and uh, hopefully we can get some sales out of it and uh, make another revenue source um, in addition to uh, eBay and photography so that's the goal with the, the affiliate program uh, if anybody has any information on how to go about doing that feel free to share because I'm always willing to learn um, so I use those smaller envelopes there to ship my uh, DVDs and Blu-rays and CDs in um, looks like I've had 12 sales over the last week or so of uh, DVDs, video games, Blu-rays, that sort of thing, the smaller items. So I'm going to go ahead and grab 12 more um, DVDs off of the stack and get those listed and photographed today. Um, let's take a look so at that. I've got the stack here of media ready to be listed. So I'm just going to grab a dozen off of there, get them photographed and uh, start listing those into the inventory system. Right, I've got the five, um, rather, 12 media items laid out here ready to be photographed and listed. Let me show you what we're working with today. We got uh, Boondock Saints 2 All Saints Day on Blu ray, Heaven is for Real Blu ray, uh, Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay on Blu ray, uh, looks like Will Smith Hitch on Blu ray, uh, George Clooney The T Descendants. DVD, uh, Desperate Housewives Season 5, Disc 1, uh, Mortal, Mortal, the movie Mortal, um, this is Petticoat Junction, a 2 DVD set, TV, uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine, uh, instructional method for the steel string guitar, instructional by Esteban, Boys Like Girls Read Between the Lines, a music a DVD brand new. And lastly, The Shadow Rider is a western starring Tom Selleck and Sam Elliott. So that's what I'll be uh, listing into my store this morning. So a dozen uh, media sales in the last week's not too bad. I'm going to keep those... Um those DVDs continuing to be listed into the stores. Hopefully I can sell a few more this week and uh, get through those. As you can see my media section here is pretty extensive. We got uh, probably approaching 600 of them listed so uh, there's plenty to choose from. Alright as you can see I've been busy listing those DVD getting all that media. I got a dozen listed into the store. Now it's time to check to see what's sold out of my store. It's a little afternoon right now and I'm hoping to get this all figured out before the Seahawks games plays so that I can go watch a little Seahawks. But uh, let's take a look at what's sold. There you see at the big store I had a couple sales this morning for $24.60. Let's take a look at what's sold. First item that sold, sold for $16.04. This is an Old Navy XXL dress jacket coat, three buttons, size 14 pants women's striped a little pants suit there size 14 the other item that sold sold for eight dollars and 57 cents it's a Massimo blue tank top size small v-neck women's keyword sleeveless i'm gonna grab those two items from inventory get some shipping on them and get them ready for the customer so i was spending some time watching that seahawks game i think they uh they got a good lead on them so i'm gonna get back to work uh, I got one order that came through that I'm going to go for a run around old Lake Patton. But let me show you guys what sold while I was watching the game. This pair of shoes sold for $27.06. They're a pair of Adidas Gray Men's Athletic Running Shoes. Size 9.5, 43.5 European. So it's always nice to see some shoes sell. Uh, I've got a lot of shoes in the garage from uh, storage units. So when one sells, I just grab another pair and list them 
into my inventory so I'll probably try to do that uh, this weekend get some more shoes up but I'm gonna grab that pair and get some shipping on it and getting ready for the customer so before I head off to the park for that run I think it uh, I better log into the small store to see what's going on sometimes I forget about the small store and don't do a whole lot especially during the weekends when I'm focusing on uh, getting listings up into the big store but uh, I got those uh, dozen DVDs listed this morning, uh, so I'm going to log it into the small store, see what's happening in there, see if we got any sales to pack up. Uh, let's take a look. So it looks like the only action I had in the small store was an offer for a skirt. I don't know uh, if you, any of you other eBayers have had this problem, but uh, there tends to be some sellers who keep making the same offer again and again and again. I usually counter with something I'm willing to accept, but then they keep coming back. They get, I think, five offers. So they keep uh, sending me this $6 free shipping offer on this uh, skirt and I send back a counter offer I think of $10.99 which is fair, decent price but uh, they keep coming back at $6 so I think that activity is actually good for the algorithm, the back and forth, eBay likes to see that um, so I'm just going to keep countering, um, send them another counter offer and hopefully they'll get the hint this time. So sometimes um, there's small store actually surprises me in the number of sales you log in and it has a bunch of sales sometimes you log in and it's nothing it's just one offer like that one lowball offer so that's kind of what you have to deal with me have two stores um, I try not to, get to not to get too mad when I get offers I mean at least they're looking at it and there's somebody showing interest in you the items that you have up so that's always a good thing but it does get a little annoying when they send you the same six dollar free shipping offer like four or five times it's uh it's it's sometimes annoying and it's hard not to send them a message and say really guy really you know but uh, i refrain i just send that counter offer that's probably the best way to do it get that activity going um i did have some offers to watchers that i sent out the uh, ebay gives you a certain number that you're eligible for. I think I had six that I sent out, marked everything 20% off. Um, so maybe that will generate some sales when I get back from this run. So we'll have to take another look later tonight and see. Uh, maybe we'll get some sales out of the small store yet. Um, the day is not over. It's about to, what, almost four o'clock now. So it'll give me time to get to the park and uh, enjoy a little daylight before it gets dark. Um, but I'll take you guys along, so let's head on over to Lake Patton and get a few miles in. Look at this cloud cover here by my house. Pretty nice. Nice clouds there. That sun is still out, so it's looking good. Perfect day for a run, so we're going to head to that lake before this sun is gone. Get the last of this nice weather. <laughs> as you can see we made it here to Lake Patton looks like there's quite a few cars out here so I'm not the only one who abandoned that Seahawks aim to come out here and get a little exercise um, but yeah I'm gonna make my 2.6 miles around the lake take my time with it enjoy that uh, cloud cover and that uh, day the last of the daylight uh, make it happen so let's hit that trail and do it all right, another successful 2.6 miles around Lake Patton. Got those miles logged in. Uh, one thing I was thinking about as I ran around today was the quote, uh, comparison is the thief of joy. I'm not sure who said it, but I've seen that going around online. And it is true, you know, you compare yourself to people. You go on Instagram and you see these people living these lavish lives, lives going on vacation maybe in Arizona sitting by the pool and you think why not me why why am I not doing all that you know and slowly you start to feel worse about yourself and uh, you know you see people your age in better situations financially and you think why haven't I amassed a fortune yet you know I've been at it so many years selling online I, I know I see that a lot with the uh, youtubers you know getting into this YouTube space and you see these guys online with you know 50,000, 100,000 people following them and you think what's so special about that guy and I think what it is 
is just that they put the time in. Um, you know, I'm doing this less than a year now. I have 205 people following me. Almost a fourth of the way to being monetized. So, you know, just stick with it. And this time next year, I'll be making another stream of income off of YouTube. And who knows, you know, you get other streams of income. I get this affiliate program going. Maybe start selling on uh, other platforms as they make themselves available to me. Get sponsorships. You know, there's a lot of opportunities out there. But yeah, comparison is the thief of joy. We'll have to look that up and see where it originated, but it's a good one, you know. Try not to compare yourselves to others so much, you know. There's probably someone looking at me thinking, oh, Brian's Brian's making all this money on, U on e eBay. He's putting out vlogs and building this channel on YouTube. You know, there might be a envy there. Who knows? Um, and if that's the case, you know, don't compare yourself to me, you know. Be happy with what you got, um, where you're at in life, and uh, I guess just strive to improve it. You know, that being said, let's head on down to that water, give you guys a look at the lake, enjoy the last of this daylight here at Padden before uh, it gets dark. Yeah, I think we spend a lot of times comparing ourselves to others when it's not really necessary. Uh, you know, just do your own thing, be your own person. I mean, that's obviously what they say if you want to stand out on YouTube you gotta be genuine you gotta be yourself and uh, try not to fake it you know don't be a, a fake uh, representation of who you really are I mean it's hard not to do when the camera's on you tend to act a little different but um, eventually your true self has to come through and they're either gonna like you or they're not you know and those who like you will stand with you and those who don't go by the wayside and uh, you probably don't want them in your life anyway so uh, let's head on down to this uh, waterway and give you guys a look. Give you guys a look at the lake. There's no wildlife down here. I did see a pack of ducks over there by the um, dog park side of the lake but over here there's nothing so maybe they tend to hang out over there more than over here. Um, I did see a blue heron the other day, so I haven't seen him for quite some time, but I saw one out here. But uh, there it is, a look at the lake. There's still uh, quite a few people out here. It's probably about 5 o'clock right now. not sure if you guys can see that, but the moon is right there, peeking out. There's a look at the moon, peeking through those clouds there. So... Uh, Beautiful cloud cover today, even though there's no uh, orange or yellows, but uh, you got that blue sky and those nice clouds that I showed you earlier when we left the house. They're still out here. There's a little bit of clouds behind those trees over there. I kind of feel like Bob Ross when I tell you guys this stuff. Those happy little clouds over there, looking for happy little ducks. It's a nice little scene out here. Get away from that eBay world for a while. Look at that little bundle of sticks right there. It's kind of a Halloween scene right there. Kind of nice all these leaves here blowing in the wind, kind of littering this grass area. I did spot a few ducks out there. They're right to the left of that brush there. If I zoom in, it might get a little too dark, but uh, they're in there. They just swam in. A few of them over there. If you listen, you can hear them coming this way. Sounds like a duck, anyways. You can't feed the animals out here, but at least there's signs not to. Or else maybe we could get them to come our way, but uh, I think they're pretty content out there in the middle. I don't know, it looks like a rather large animal in the middle there. I assume it's a duck, but maybe it's something else, who knows. Maybe it's that muskrat that was out here the other night. 
that Lake Padden Loch Ness. I'm trying to start the legend. If I get a, him on video, then my channel will really take off. It's kind of cool. You can see the clouds in that waterway there, the reflection. It's pretty still out here tonight. That moon is right up there behind those clouds, hiding. It's about as close as we're going to get to it. It's amazing how it changes so much in just a short period of time. In just the five minutes I've been out here it looks completely different. That's the one constant, right? And life is change. Even five minutes ago, it's much different than it is right now. Keep your feet on the ground and your head in the clouds. Hopefully you guys like that little look at Lake Padden. I'm gonna head back to the car, get home and do some more work. Got to get some more listings up tonight before we call it quits. I'm also want to do uh, another segment of Brian Reads the News, possibly, and try to find a few more bolos. Um, I want to keep sharing those bolos with you so you can educate yourself and uh, so I can find some more of those at the thrift and hopefully have some bigger scores in the new year. Yeah, that's the one thing a lot of people ask me as a reseller. Oh, what's your big score? What's, uh, what's your biggest that you've made? You know, And I never really have a big answer for them. I think with me being a clothing seller, you know, I sold a Pistol Pete Maravich jersey for $100, and I thought that was great, you know. Bought it for 5 sold it for 100 made 95 bucks plus shipping. It was a, that was a big score for me, but uh, you hear about, you know, these people that find these grails or whatever, you know, these uh, clothing items that are one of a kind, or there's only five out there in the world, and they sell it for $1,000, and you wonder how much of that's true, you know. I mean, I've been at it for 20 years and I've never found anything like that, so maybe I just don't know about it, you know, which very well could be. There's a lot of knowledge to be gained still. So just keep learning every day and I'm sure some of that stuff will come my way eventually. Yeah, it's officially dark out here, so I'm going to head home and get back to work. All right, back home, showered up, and I returned to a couple sales. Always nice when you can leave the house and come home to making a little bit of money. Um, checking out the small store, uh, the small store I left and uh, there was zero sales. Came back, there's two sales, let me show you what sold. We had two sales for $29.79, focus, there we go, $29.79. First item sold for $16.24, it's a pair of J. Farrar Gray polyester blend dress pants, size 32 waist by 32 inseam. Keyword man's men's. Second item sold for $13.55. It's a pair of New York apparel, black velour women's sweats, pants, cotton polyester, large keyword women's. So with winter approaching, you tend to sell a few more pants. So I'm going to go grab those from uh, the inventory system and get some shipping on them. Get them ready to send out to the customer on Monday. Got those small store orders packed up, logged back into the big store, and we had a sale there as well. Let me show you. Again, people are getting ready for winter. A jacket sold for $17.11. This jacket is a Sunrise Kingdom hooded jacket, coat, zipper front, small, blue and black, men's, keyword polyester. So I'm going to grab that jacket, uh, get some shipping on it, and get it ready for the customer. Burrito number two. We're eating good tonight. Look at that. Nice grill marks on that thing. All right, as promised, it's time for another segment of Brian Reads the News, your favorite segment and mine. Let's get into it. Jason Momoa makes waves as SNL host tells Dasani to suck it during opening monologue by Naladi Ashi of USA Today. Article says Jason Momoa wanted to make a splash while hosting Saturday Night Live gushing about his love of the ocean during his opening monologue. The 44 year old actor started his intro with a shout out to his mom in the audience joking that she's still recovering from giving birth to me. Quote, I'm so happy to be here. I love this place. I love life. I love waking up, washing my luxurious hair with a full body of shampoo 
he said as he shook his ponytail, and I love playing Aquaman, because I love the ocean. Momoa went on to discuss his love of all things water, sharing that he wanted to be a marine biologist when he was younger, quote, which makes sense because I'm built like a scientist, he quipped. The Hawaii-born, Iowa-raised actor said living in the Midwest posed a problem for him as far as his love for marine life. After watching the 1998 surf movie In God's Hands, which is set in Hawaii, he decided to move back. Momoa boasted that landing a role on the show Baywatch Hawaii, which sparked his career, I call it the B word, but I fell in love with acting, he said. He added, I only stayed for a few seasons because you really don't want to get stuck in the b-hole. And now I feel like my life has come full circle. Momoa signed off his monologue by discussing his aluminum water bottle company, Manalu, which aims to eliminate single-use plastic water bottles and curb ocean pollution. The Aquaman star joked that the Hawaiian translation of Manan... Alu is Suck It Dasani. Saturday was Momoa's second time hosting an SNL sketch comedy. His first stepped up to the plate in December 2018. Momoa referenced his time on the island in a sketch titled Castaway, in which he returned from life at sea and came to visit his ex fiance Elaine, Chloe Feynman, and her husband, Dennis, Andrew Desmukis. The island changed me, Momoa's character, Lard said, as he discussed being on the deserted island for five years after his plane crash. Quote, the only thing that mattered was survival. The size of the fire I could build with my own hands, and the primitive skills I could summon to hunt. Momoa's Laird leaned into his physique for the skit and swept Lane off her feet while Dennis tried to fight him off with a push-up contest. Pretty interesting. I didn't see all of the episode, but I saw a few clips of uh, Momoa's SNL appearance doing the rounds online. They seem pretty funny to me. I guess I'll have to check out the rest of it. When you read something like that and you uh, think about the popularity of uh, Momoa and some of the characters he's created, uh, you always want to search eBay to see what's out there. I searched his name and it looks like there's 7,100, 7,100 listings currently up when you search the keyword Jason Momoa. When you search the sold listings, it shows that 2,100 of those items have sold in the last 90 days. Let's take a look at some of the top selling items. Look at this. This is the top selling item. It has his autograph on his own playing card. Let's see. This is a, what do you call it? Uh, Cryptozoic CZX Superheroes and Supervillains Jason Momoa autographed card. So that one sold. They accepted a best offer. They had it listed for $1,250 and it sold, so they took an offer on that one. Here's another listing uh, that sold for big money. This is a, a mask I guess he wore. It's a 2014 Wolves Jason Momoa, Momoa production made werewolf transformation mask with COA. Certificate of Authenticity. So they got the COA on that mask. It's the real deal sold for 795 they were asking and they accepted a best offer so probably over 700 dollars for that thing of course when you play those superhero characters uh, you know there's going to be some comic books made and this is a uh, comic book that was made i guess it has gal gadot and jason momoa cgs ss signature series this is rated it's a it's a graded comic book that is graded a 9.8 it's the Auto Justice League, number 32, and that sold for $750. So it looks like it's this, either the first appearance by Momoa's character in this uh, Justice League comic book. But uh, Bats Out of Hell featuring two uh, Justice League. So there's one to look out for. Get a good look at that. Not sure if you'll ever find it in the wild, but it uh, might be worth uh, investing if you do. So there's three bolos to be on the lookout for relating to Jason Momoa. Hopefully you guys have liked that, uh, that little article in the USA Today and this little look at um, some items that you could make some big bucks off of. I'm not sure if you'll ever find any of those out there, but it's fun to know that they exist, I guess. Um, 
I guess it's possible you could get Jason Momoa's uh, autograph on a card. Um, so maybe carry a card around if you're going to Hawaii. Maybe you'll see him out there and get it signed and put it on eBay and make some money off of him. It's kind of funny because I saw a video of Jason Momoa in a mosh pit. He seems kind of like you're the everyday man, you know, out there doing his own thing, not really worried about what others are thinking about him. Um, you wonder if he's really like that. I don't know. I guess he probably could be. You know, being that big, he probably um, doesn't worry about too much. He looked to be having a good time in that mosh pit, so you might want to search that, check it out. It's pretty funny. There's a look at it. It was at the Metallica concert. Look at him go in circles around in this little mosh pit. So there it is. That's all that's left of my stack. All that to a new fresh inventory. Hard to believe that's all that's left of the stack that I need to list. Uh, I had four big stacks to list this week and I got through nearly all of them. I've got just that little bit there left to do. I've been uh, working on it a little bit tonight, getting some uh, listings into both stores. As things sell, um, I'm going to keep working on it, uh, list a few more items, and then probably finish up the rest tomorrow. But I want to thank everybody for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little vlog, a day in the life of a reseller. We covered a lot. Uh, we made it out to Lake Padden, got some mileage in, showed you guys the lake there, um, did a little reading session. Um, Brian reads the news and a few bolos for you guys to consider. Um, if you haven't yet, please consider um, subscribing to the channel, I'm trying to get my numbers up. I currently have 205 subscribers and 866 hours of watch time. I'm trying to get to 1,000 uh, subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time so I can monetize my channel. So it would really help if you would uh, hit that uh, subscription button and watch a few videos here and there. Um, I want to thank those who have done that so far and got me to where I am right now. Hopefully I'll get there in the next year and get this thing monetized. Um, got some other things going on in terms of uh, money making opportunities. I'm working on um, the affiliate links, put a lot of those out today. So I'll give you guys an update on that tomorrow. It usually takes a day for them to um, calculate you know, the impressions and if there were any sales made. I think uh, the first day I had 19 people click on it and no sales were made. So. I'm going to keep putting those links out till some of those sales start to be generated. And if you want to support the channel, look for those links. And uh, you don't have to buy from my store. You can buy from any store and I'll get a commission. Um, so that's kind of how it works. As long as you enter eBay through that link I'm providing, then um, I'll benefit from any sales that are generated. So think about that the next time you see uh, me post. Um, and I want to thank all those who watched this one to the very end. There'll be a new one following day, hopefully, or day or two. I've been getting them out daily, and that's kind of the goal, but uh, we'll see how things go. But thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.